this is Harpreet. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. And today no one is at home, so I decided to shoot upstairs. Uh, it's quiet here. And our today's topic is um, what are goals and what are systems and how can we achieve our goals by putting them into a system. Before I share my tips and tricks with you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And let's dive in. We set so many goals. When New Year comes, we set so many goals. When our birthday comes, we make so many goals. Like on my birthday, I made a big list of goals. And we only achieved a very little percent, like very, very little part of it. So what's the reason? Like, because goals only give us direction. Then we need a system. We need structure to achieve our goals. So when we are setting goal and when we are making a structure, a system, we are using our conscious mind. And our like 5% of our mind is our conscious mind, like awareness part, mindfulness, and 95% is our subconscious and unconscious mind. So let me give you an example. Okay, I'm in IT, right? I'm a computer programmer and I've been programming for, uh, for like past 25, 26 years, right? So when I write a program, when I write a program, like I write it from the conscious part of my brain. I write the program, I test it, and if there are some flaws, I go back, I, uh, I make the changes. Again, I run it, test it, and again, I fix it. So I, I write the program until it is ready to give me desired results. And there are some programs like I wrote 15 years ago, and I'm still running them. And But when I'm running them, I don't have to put as much energy because I know I gave it the like steps, the, a structure, and I know what result is gonna give me. So same thing is with your life. So when we set goals, right? So we get it, we set it from our conscious mind, but our conscious mind is so little, like, like 5%. So we don't have that much energy to consciously act on so many things. So until we put our goals, like we break them into small steps and then we put them in a structure, then they, then we can make them fruitful. Uh, let me give you an example. Like um, I was like, uh, I was uh, 132 pounds, like 60, 60 kg. And now within last 18 months, I gained eight kgs and I wanted to gain muscle. So, so how did I, how did I achieve it? Like initially it was really hard because I was doing it from my conscious mind. So consciously I say, okay, no, I have to gain weight. I have to gain muscle. So I'm going to go three days to gym. So initially I went like five days to gym and it was not like doable for me. And uh, so I say, okay, no, I'm going to go Monday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I gave a structure. So initially it was hard Monday Wednesday and Friday was uh, hard and sometimes I didn't want to go so I said okay I will some days I will just go there and I will just like I say okay let's go there and I will just do stretch and if I'm not feeling uh, like I don't have that much energy I will come home so initially my first structure was just setting the number of days Monday Wednesday and Friday so once that part became easy I added a next step to it so I say like, uh, so Monday, so I say, okay, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, what exercises I'm going to do. So I say, okay, Monday and Friday, I'm going to train my lower body and Wednesday, I'm going to train upper body. And that system went into like unconscious part, like subconscious programmed part of my brain, uh, like mind. And then I added a third step. So initially I like when I was, I started, I was like, I had so much energy. I say I will do 10 machines a day. Some days, one day I was doing 10 machines. Other day I was, I was able to do only two machines because I was like so tired. I was not able to recover. So then again, I tested, okay. So two steps I've already figured out. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then um, Monday and uh, Friday, I'm doing my lower body and Wednesday, my upper body. And then th third system, uh, third structure, third step I put into it. I say, okay, I'm only gonna do five machines one in one go on one day. So Monday, I, so whenever I go, I only do five machines and that worked the best for me. 
So once I figured, now I programmed all these three parts. It's, and it has become my habit now. It is programmed in my subconscious. I've been doing it for, for past 18 months and I don't have to think about it. Yes, of course, some days I am tired, but I still go. I know Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays are my gym days and I don't have to put so much conscious energy in decision making. It just happens. I know when I wake up in the morning, I know that I have to, like, there is, like, I have to keep time to go to gym. So after doing that, I made, I added another step the diet is also a crucial part. So I added a, and when you're going to gym, you have to have certain amount of protein. So then I slowly added that I have to have morning smoothie, which gives me like 30, 30 grams of protein at least. So I added and I had it for like a couple months. That became my routine. Doesn't matter. I don't drink tea in the morning. So whatever, whatever happens, I have my, uh, like when I go to do, do my grocery, I buy the ingredients for my smoothie and I've been, I just put it into my habit in my sub uh, in my subconscious part of the brain. So my four uh, steps are programmed. Now I need more protein. So my fifth step is then I uh, decided my what would be my afternoon meal. So so you know how do you then how do you achieve? So within like it's a slow process, but there's a progress in it. So when I set a goal, okay, I have to get. Uh, I have to like I want to gain muscle but if I just set it at that point and I go for like one month and I'm tired okay it's not working and then I I would give up but no I started slowly I started adding steps you know how I do with my programming like you test it you run it and then when it runs you go move on to the next part so same thing I did with my exercise routine so same thing you do with any goal whenever you set a goal chunk it down and put systems in place and it works wonderfully wonderfully and I see I'm just checking my notes I also want to share something else with you yeah and the other thing I wanted to share like uh, so this is one part of my life right and two years back I bought so many programs I wanted to do so many things and I didn't do like I, I only achieved like five five to ten percent hardly that and all those programs are still there so I say what what, what happened there because I just set the goal okay I want to get the, all these certifications but I did not put any active result or like active steps I did not put a plan to take action so you, our goals only remain goals or dreams or fairy tale like you know that uh, like we won't be able to accomplish our goals if we don't put them into into some sort of structure in some sort of system and now i'm thinking of setting like system for other in other parts of my life like with cooking uh, like like i i know what i eat in a day but for my family what i'm supposed to do so i don't consume so much energy i don't put in so much energy like in planning part Decision, decision making is very tiring. So if you're making, because our conscious part of the brain is very limited and if we are using, uh, all energy is used up there, there's very little time left to make progress in other parts of life. So it's good to program things and then let them run on autopilot. And uh, try, try this, try this, it really works. Now I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share as I go. Uh, because then I was comparing how come in one part of my life I'm uh, seeing the results in other part of the life I'm not seeing results is because I did not put in one part of the life in, in my exercise regime I put a structure but in not in the other part of life where I wanted to like get all these certification I did not put any system and structure try it and let me know and I love you loads bye and please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye